Hello guys and welcome. We are back with another review. And this time we're doing Destro from GI Joe Classified. Um, this is the retro line, so it comes on card pack. Um, got this guy from Forbidden Planet in London for nineteen pounds. Um, so we'll go over what it comes with, like always, and then we'll go the figure itself. So this guy comes with some quite cool uh, little accessories. So we'll go over his first one, which is his briefcase. Now this actually opens up to reveal a laptop type thing and some money as well. So you can use this as a uh, prop for like dioramas, moss and all that sort of thing. Um, I'm just going to move the line around. So, also comes with a pistol, a stand, which is useful, and another gun, which I'm not so sure on this one. Um, the sight seems to be backwards, I'm not sure on that. But anyway, um, we'll go over the articulation. Um, as like, it, it seems to be a film with um, G.I. Joe's. They seem really loose. Like a lot of the figures seem really loose. Um, this guy is loose on his ab crunch. Breaker is loose on his legs. Snake Eyes is a bit loose on his arms. So it's, it's, I don't know if it's a film with just G.I. Joe's, but it seemed quite loose. Um, so we'll go with the articulation anyway. Um, his head goes up that high, down that far, and full rotation. It's got a slight tilt on it, um, not too much though. Uh, his arms go up that high, they are on butterflies, so they go back that far, and forward that far. He's got upper bicep rotation, double jointed, but he does get hindered a bit by the bicep there and he's got wrist rotation and a sideways hinge on there as well. Uh, his abs go down that far, back that far, and he's got a waist swivel as well. His legs go up that high, but they are hindered by this uh, holster here. So this leg doesn't go as far as this leg. This leg goes quite high and he also can do the splits uh, but it's in the game by that, by that um, holster there which is get his legs again on that no um, he's got up far rotation this one doesn't rotate as much this one does it's fine uh, got double jointed knees and up and down hinge on the ankle and a rotation as well. Um, so looks wise this guy looks really cool. Um, look, look how loose he is. <laughs> oh, um, yeah because I was trying to do photos with this guy and he was just all over the place. So looks wise he's really cool. Love the shiny kind of head on him. Um, he's got a necklace here that does come off um, it moves around as well so it's nice to configure um, just a shame just a shame for the awful kind of looseness on them right? these are real shame because these are really good figures and like if they work the way they weren't meant to they are great, but he comes with the uh, nice briefcase that you can use for other figures. His, his actual hands are quite stiff, um, so you kind of have to fight to get the briefcase in there. Um, but definitely worth it because you can use that briefcase for anything, not just GI Joe's. Um, This guy needs a stand because he's so loose. Um, but it seems to be a running film with your Joe's. 
uh, unfortunately. Um, the one that isn't loose that I've got is Scarlet. She seems okay at the moment, but it depends how much I do photos of her and stuff like that. So that changes. So um, he, you can get some good poses with this guy though, especially with those double joints as well, as I had them before. Posing with his briefcase like that, and he looks really nice. So yeah, hope you've all enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Thank you and goodbye.